Reptiles are pretty amazing creatures. Did you know that some reptiles, like the crocodile, are more closely related to birds than to other reptiles? In any case, one thing many reptiles have in common is that they can be super dangerous, whether through venom or teeth or some other terrifying ability. From the turtle that would make Shredder quit, and go home to the massive beast which lurks in the trees, here's the 20 most dangerous reptiles in the world, too. <sighs> Number 20. Alligator Snapping Turtle the primitive alligator snapping turtle is North America's largest freshwater turtle and one of the world's biggest. This species is known as the dinosaur of the turtle world because its spiky shell, beak-like jaws, and broad scaled tail. It definitely looks like something pretty nasty from Mario Bros. Alligator snappers are virtually exclusively found in the southeastern United States rivers, canals, and lakes, and can live for 50 to 100 years. Males typically have a shell length of 26 inches and weigh around 150 pounds. However, they have been reported to weigh up to 220. The females are significantly smaller, weighing in at approximately 50 pounds. Alligator snappers spend the majority of their life in the water, with the exception of when females go 160 feet inland to lay their eggs. Before emerging for air, they may stay underwater for 40 to 50 minutes. In its hunting method, the alligator snapper uses a unique natural lure. It has a bright red worm-shaped bit of flesh on its tongue that, when placed on the riverbed by a stationary turtle, attracts curious fish or frogs near enough to be snatched. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Tree Crocodile Varanus salvadori, often known as the crocodile monitor or tree crocodile, is a New Guinea-only monitor lizard. It is the biggest monitor lizard known from New Guinea, as well as one of the world's longest, measuring up to 8 feet in length. The species' tail is so long that some specimens have been reported to be longer than the world's biggest lizard, the Komodo dragon. Nevertheless, the tree crocodile is far smaller. The tree croc is a dark green arboreal lizard with bands of yellowish dots across its body. It has a long tail and a distinctive blunt nose. It feeds on birds, small animals, eggs, and carrion in mangrove swamps and coastal rainforests in the southeastern portion of the island. Its teeth are more adapted to capturing fast-moving prey than those of other monitors. This reptile, like other monitors, has structural characteristics that make it easier for it to breathe while running than other lizards but it may have even more stamina than most other monitor species. Crocodile monitors are occasionally hunted for their flesh and skin, which is used to make drumheads and apparel. Because crocodile monitors are known to be violent, hunting them is considered dangerous. Thus, the majority of harvesting is done by trapping them in traps designed for other species. Number 18. Black Caimans the black caiman, like the American alligator, is a huge crocodilian animal and one of the largest extant members of the family Alligatoridae and Order Crocodilia. It is a carnivorous reptile that dwells in South America's slow-moving rivers, lakes, and seasonally flooded savannas of the Amazon basin, as well as other freshwater environments. It is a big reptile species that may reach a length of up to 20 feet. Black caimans are apex predators with a broad diet, able to eat almost every terrestrial or riparian species found within their habitat. Black caimans, like other big crocodilians, have been recorded capturing and devouring smaller species like the spectacled caiman, as well as cannibalizing smaller members of their own species. Snakes, turtles, birds, and mammals, among other prey, will be caught based on availability, with the latter two mostly when they come to drink at the river's edge. Common Amazon Amazonian mammalian prey includes monkeys, sloths, armadillos, pacas, agoutis, 
coatis, and capybaras, among others. Other caiman species, deer, peccaries, tapirs, anacondas, gigantic otters, and domestic animals, such as pigs, cattle, horses, and dogs, are examples of large prey. Number 17. Eastern Coral Snake the eastern coral snake is a venomous coral species. The species is only found in the southeastern United States and is thus considered endemic. The color pattern is made up of large red and black bands divided by tiny yellow rings that encircle the body. From the rostral scale to just behind the eyes, the head is black. In most cases, the crimson rings are flecked with black. The traditional rhyme, red next to black, safe from attack, red next to yellow, you're a dead fellow, is commonly taught to youngsters in its natural range. These rhymes can help children differentiate between king snakes, which are beneficial predators of vermin like rats and mice, and the poisonous coral snake, which should only be handled by a trained biologist or herpetologist. This rhyme, however, is only relevant to species found in the United States, and it cannot be employed consistently in the Caribbean, Central, or South America. Prey suffers from fast paralysis and respiratory collapse as a result of envenomation. Slurred speech, double vision, and muscle paralysis are all symptoms in people, and they finally lead to respiratory failure. Pfizer recently announced that manufacture of its antivenom will be halted due to a lack of profitability. So if you get bitten by one of them, don't expect Big Pharma to come to your rescue. Better remember that rhyme. Number 16. Komodo Dragon The Komodo Dragon belongs to the Varanidae family of monitor lizards and is only found on the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gilimotang. It is the biggest extant lizard species, reaching a maximum length of 10 feet and weighing up to 150 pounds. Komodo dragons are apex predators that dominate the habitats in which they inhabit due to their size. Invertebrates, birds, and mammals are among the prey that Komodo dragons seek and ambush. They are said to have a venomous bite, with two glands in the lower jaw, secreting a variety of harmful proteins. Although the biological relevance of these proteins is debatable, it has been demonstrated that the glands produce an anticoagulant. In the reptile world, the collective hunting behavior of Komodo dragons is unrivaled. Komodo dragons consume mostly Javan Rusa, an unlucky deer species that shares an island with these literal monsters, although they also eat a lot of carrion. Humans are occasionally attacked by Komodo dragons. Western scientists first discovered Komodo dragons in 1910. They are popular zoo attractions due to their huge size and terrifying reputation. Their natural range has shrunk as a result of human activities, and the IUCN Red List classifies them as vulnerable. In the wild and in captivity, Komodo dragons have been responsible for a number of human deaths. Between 1974 and 2012, there were 24 recorded attacks on people, five of which were deadly according to statistics from Komodo National Park. Local people living near the national park made up the majority of the casualties. Number 15. The Indian Cobra the Indian cobra is a species of the genus Naja that may be found in India. Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Bhutan, it is one of India's big four snake species that cause the most human bites. The Indian cobra is venerated in Indian mythology and culture, and snake charmers are frequently seen with it. The venom of the Indian cobra comprises a potent postsynaptic neurotoxin and cardiotoxin. The venom works on the synaptic gaps of neurons, paralyzing muscles, and causing respiratory failure or cardiac arrest in severe bites. Enzymes like hyaluronidase, which induce lysis and disseminate the venom, are among the venom's components. Symptoms of envenomation might appear anywhere from 15 minutes to 2 hours after the attack. Snake charmers have been paid to provide bites from their snakes, and the venom of juvenile cobras has been used as a narcotic of addiction in India. Symptoms of such misuse include loss of consciousness, euphoria, and drowsiness. However, this practice is now considered obsolete. 
The Indian cobras Nag and Nagena, the Hindi terms for male and female snakes, are featured in Rudyard Kipling's short story, Ricky Tikki Tavi. Number 14. Fur de Lance The word fur de lance means iron of the lance, iron spear tip, or simply spearhead in French. It's also known as terciopelo, and it's a pit viper that lives in northeast Mexico, Central America, and South America at low to moderate heights. The terciopelo is one of the most powerful pit vipers. Its hue ranges from pale to dark brown, with a yellow zigzag-shaped stripe running along either side of its body. Because of its protective nature and near-to-human settlement, it has been dubbed the ultimate pit viper for its huge size, fangs, and venom yield. It has a terrifying reputation being responsible for the most snake bites within its range. This species is commonly found along rivers and streams, lounging in the sun during the day and lying quiet in leaf litter or beneath forest cover at night, ready to ambush food like rats and mice that come within range. When trapped or threatened, this species can become aggressive and demonstrate an S-coiled defense. Juveniles are frequently semi-aboreal, and even adults can be seen in shrubs and low trees. Number 13. Mugger Crocodile the mugger crocodile, sometimes known as the Indian crocodile, is a medium-sized crocodile that may reach a length of 16 feet. They dwell on the Indian subcontinent and are a very widespread crocodile species there, therefore human encounters are fairly regular, considerably more so than the famed and enormous saltwater crocodile that also lives in India, but in far lesser numbers. Humans are considered hazardous by the mugger crocodile, and deadly assaults have been reported, typically the mugger, an ambush predator, will attack an unsuspecting victim at the water's edge. The mugger will drown the person after the huge jaws have clamped down, but it is extremely unusual that they will actually devour a human being. Maybe because they don't like the flavor or because it is too big. Muggers aren't just after humans, they've also been known to attack Bengal tigers and lions. While the tiger is more likely to win in this fight, these daring reptiles will try their luck with anyone that gets too close. Number 12. Reticulated Python The reticulated python is the world's longest snake and one of the top three heaviest. They are excellent swimmers and have been observed swimming to other islands to expand their range and locate fresh prey. Human assaults are uncommon in general as pythons recognize that the human shoulder structure is just a little bit too broad to fit into their mouth. Although fatalities have been reported, some of them recently. In June 2018, a 54-year-old Indonesian lady called Watiba was attacked and eaten whole by a reticulated python while checking her vegetable patch on the island of Muna. When her loved ones became concerned, they rushed to the garden to look for her, but all they discovered were her sandals and machete. After a second search, the locals discovered a swollen python approximately 100 feet off, which they killed and sliced open, discovering the unfortunate woman's body within. The terrible incident was captured on tape and then released onto the internet, where it quickly went viral. If you like that sort of stuff, we'll leave it up to you to go search for it. Several more tragic instances have been documented in Indonesia in the 21st century. Although they are typically afraid of people and the python is also regarded a holy animal in Indonesia, so numbers are generally healthy and it is left alone. When you're in the garden, maybe just maybe keep an ear out for hissing. Number 11. Soft-Shelled Turtles The Chinese soft-shell turtle is an indigenous soft-shell turtle that has been found in a variety of Asian nations as well as Spain, Brazil, and Hawaii. The Chinese soft-shell turtle is an endangered species with habitat degradation and collecting for food such as turtle soup, posing serious threats. Millions are currently cultivated to feed the food business, mainly in China, and it is the world's most commercially significant turtle. 
According to statistics gathered from 684 Chinese turtle farms, they sold about 91 million turtles of this species, of this species per year. However, given that these farms accounted for less than half of China's 1,499 registered turtle farms, the overall number might be more than twice as high. In many areas of Asia, these turtles are considered delicacies. This species is used to make turtle soup. They are cooked with noodles and served as winter treats in Japan. Even now, many Koreans maintain a taboo against eating turtles that dates back to traditional Korean shamanism. The turtle is a popular pet in Europe, especially in nations like Italy and the Czech Republic. Canned and fresh fish, canned dog food, raw beef, mice, frogs, and chicken are among the foods consumed by captives of this species. In captivity, however, they rarely consume turtle feed. If provoked, they may administer a painful bite, although they typically relent after a while. Number 10. Common Death Adder the common death adder is an Australian species of death adder. It is among Australia's and the world's most venomous land snakes. The continuing Australian cane toad invasion is posing a big issue for this snake though, and numbers are falling. The major food of common death adders is small animals and birds. Unlike other snakes, the common death adder waits for its victims, sometimes for days until the opportunity to feed presents itself. It camouflages itself with leaves and lies coiled in ambush bush, twitching its grub-like tail near its head as a luring device. When an animal comes close enough to examine the activity, the death adder attacks first, injecting venom and then waiting for the victim to expire before devouring it. Although the death adder is not hostile, it is more harmful to people who wander into bushland environments because of its ambush hunting style and dependence on concealment rather than fight to evade attacks. The venom of the common death adder includes a very lethal neurotoxin that is of the postsynaptic type, causing paralysis or even death. It has the fastest striking speed of any venomous snake found in Australia. Human death can happen in as little as six hours after a bite. Number 9. Russell's Viper the Russell's Viper is one of the most lethal snakes on the planet because it bites twice. While its venom isn't as powerful as some of the other snakes on our list, it's still very potent. Surviving the bite of the Russell's Viper, on the other hand, isn't going to be enough. If you make it through the envenomation effects of most snakes, you'll probably be okay. However, the toxin of this snake penetrates deeply into your body, causing you to acquire a variety of strange and fatal chronic conditions, even if you survive. It's time for the second bite. The symptoms of venom might appear years later, starting with a sensation of being chilly and wary. But then it gets crazier, creating a reverse puberty condition in which sex drive vanishes, pubic hair falls out, women lose their natural body features, males lose muscle and facial hair, and both become infertile. This strange venom transforms its victim into children, slowing down their mental powers and finally leading to renal failure and death. They reside in India, where their name translates to Lurker, so if you're in India, keep an eye out for this one, unless you want to be sent back to your youth in the worst conceivable way. Number 8. Now Crocodile the Nile crocodile is a big freshwater crocodile endemic to Africa, where it may be found in 26 nations. It dwells in a variety of aquatic habitats, including lakes, rivers, swamps, and marshlands, and is extensively dispersed throughout sub-Saharan Africa. It is primarily found in the central, eastern, and southern areas of the continent. This species' distribution used to extend all the way up the Nile, as far as the Nile Delta. The adult male Nile crocodile crocodile is between 11.5 and 16.4 feet long and weighs 500 to 1,650 pounds on average. 
It is Africa's biggest freshwater predator, and may be the world's second largest extant reptile, behind the saltwater crocodile. Nile crocodiles are opportunistic apex predators, capable of capturing nearly every animal within their range. They are opportunistic predators who eat a wide range of prey. Much of the hunting and overall hostility toward Nile crocodiles derives from their not completely unfounded reputation as man-eaters. Despite the fact that most incidents go undetected, the Nile and saltwater crocodiles are believed to slaughter hundreds if not thousands of people each year, far more than all other crocodilian species combined. The Nile crocodile spends much of its life in close proximity to human settlements, thus encounters are more common. This, along with the species' enormous size, makes attacks more likely. Number 7. Dubois Sea Snake the Dubois sea snake is a highly toxic sea snake species. Its geographic range encompasses Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia, and the Coral Sea, Arafura Sea, Timor Sea, and Indian Ocean, as well as the northern, eastern, and western coasts of Australia. It is the planet's most venomous sea snake, as well as one of the top three most venomous snakes. They are somewhat aggressive, meaning they will bite if provoked, but not on their own. Adults can reach a total length of 4.8 feet, including the tail, but they generally stay around 2.6 feet. The head is somewhat broader than the neck, with nostrils on the upper half of the head and nasals touching. A row of big subocular scales separates the eyes from the supralabial scales. Dorsal scales are generally smooth, however a teeny kneel or small knob may be present. Individuals differ greatly in terms of color and body patterns. The tail is quite lengthy with a lighter chin and neck than the rest of the body. Number 6. Mata Mata the Mata Mata turtle is one of the numerous strange creatures that live in the Amazon River. The Amazon River in South America is known for its amazing and occasionally frightening animals. The strange Mata Mata turtle lives in the same rivers as the piranha and river dolphin. The consequences of stepping on a Mata Mata are unknown, but the unusual river reptiles feature an extended, snake-like neck and a peculiar mouth packed with two sharp plates that resemble human-fused teeth. Water birds, fish, and various reptiles are among the prey of these extremely creepy exclusive carnivores. Their necks are very lengthy and fashioned like an antique wood saw. These turtles have a frightening appearance and are also carnivorous, so it's better not to tread on one. In fact, considering the sheer quantity of deadly creatures in the Amazon, it's always safest to remain out of the water entirely. In fact, staying in a fancy hotel in Manaus could be preferable. The Mata Mata's camouflage tactic is to look like a piece of bark, and they don't move too much acting as ambush predators. Many people maintain these animals as exotic pets in their homes. After all, who wouldn't want an animal this adorable? Number 5. Belcher's Sea Snake the Belcher's sea snake is a highly deadly elipid sea snake species. It has a cautious personality and would typically bite only after being subjected to extreme maltreatment. Fishermen carrying nets are most commonly bitten, however only about a fourth of those bitten are envenomated since the snake seldom injects much of its venom. The Belcher's sea snake, sometimes known as the hook-nosed sea snake, has erroneously gained a reputation as the world's most venomous snake. Dubois a sea snake, which we just looked at, is the most toxic sea snake. Even so, it's best not to try them both on for yourself, because they're still rather dangerous. It has a slender body that is chrome yellowish with dark greenish crossbands. The venter is not covered by the dorsal pattern. The head is short and has matching color bands. It has a tiny mouth, yet it is appropriate for aquatic life. When viewed from above, its body seems to have a pale golden color. The scales of this snake snake are distinct from those of most other snakes, in that they overlap. A central tubercle can be found on each dorsal scale. The body is heavily squeezed laterally in the back. The ventral scales are very small, hardly broader than the dorsal scales. Number 4. Timber Rattlesnake 
the timber rattlesnake is a deadly pit viper that is only found in eastern North America. This is the only rattlesnake species in much of the populous northeastern United States, and it is the most northernly dispersed poisonous snake in North America, second only to its relatives to the west, the prairie rattlesnake. The timber rattlesnake was one of several reptile species first described by Carl Linnaeus in the influential 10th edition of his Systema Natura in 1758, and it still goes by the name Crotalus horridus. Timber rattlesnakes may be found from southern Minnesota to southern New Hampshire, as well as south to east Texas and north Florida. Female timber rattlers frequently sunbathe in open rocky places known as basking knolls before giving birth. Timber rattlesnakes brewmate in limestone cracks throughout the winter, frequently alongside copperheads and black rat snakes. They're all so cute snuggled up together. Smaller mammals are their primary food, although they may also eat small birds frogs, and other small creatures, including snakes. Although they are capable of eating other rattlesnakes, garter snakes are the most common prey. Timber rattlesnakes are known to use fallen logs as a waiting site for prey to pass by, allowing them to attack their victim from a higher perch. Due to its large fangs, remarkable size, and high venom output, this snake has the potential to be one of North America's most lethal snakes. This is partially countered by the fact that it has a very calm personality. Number 3. Leatherback Sea Turtle The leatherback sea turtle is the biggest of all turtles, reaching lengths of up to 8 feet on rare occasions. These 2,000-pound omnivores have the largest range of any vertebrate species on the planet, yet they are becoming scarce and endangered as a result of deployment, pollution, and bycatch. The turtles are mostly gentle giants, but if disturbed, they can unleash a bone-shattering bite and are incredibly strong and powerful. A big leather back, presumably weighing over 1,500 pounds, directed its fury against a small sailboat and charged it in one weird event. The boat was seen as a threat since the turtle had recently been pursued by a shark. Earlier in their life, leatherback turtles are preyed upon by a variety of predators. Coastal predators such as ghost crabs, monitor lizards, raccoons, coyotes, dogs, coyotes, janets, mongooses, and shorebirds ranging in size from little plovers to big gulls may feed on eggs. Many of the same predators, such as frigate birds and other raptors, prey on young turtles as they attempt to reach the water. Young leatherbacks are still preyed upon by cephalopods, requiem sharks, and other large fish until they reach the ocean. The enormous adults encounter fewer significant predators in spite of their lack of a hard shell. However, they are occasionally overpowered and preyed on by very large marine predators, such as killer whales, great white sharks, and tiger sharks. Number 2. Green Iguana Iguanas have become a popular pet in recent years, with supporters claiming that having this massive, prehistoric-looking lizard around is akin to owning a dog. Despite being herbivorous, the iguana is unpredictable and has razor-sharp teeth. When tame yet strong iguanas become upset, they clamped onto their owners' faces or sliced their hands with teeth and claws, causing terrible damage. Iguanas may weigh up to 18 pounds and grow to be over 6 feet long, so an attack by this massive reptile is no laughing matter. The green iguana is considered an invasive species in South Florida as a result of a series of circumstances it may be found from Key West to Pinellas County on Florida's east and Gulf coasts. Stowaways aboard ships transporting fruit from South America brought the first tiny iguana settlements to the Florida Keys. Other iguanas were released into the wild throughout time, most of which came from the pet trade. Some iguanas fled while others were purposefully released by their owners. These iguanas lived and thrived in their new environment. The damage caused by green iguanas has grown to be substantial, and it is projected to grow in the future. Yet, there is still debate over how to deal with the problem, due to unusually cold nights that placed them in a condition of torpor and led them to lose their hold on the tree branches. Significant numbers of iguanas established in Florida plummeted from the 
the trees in which they lived in January 2008. The occurrence was dubbed a frozen iguana shower by local media. Number 1. The Mexican Beaded Lizard the Mexican beaded lizard belongs to the Halodermatidae family of lizards, and is one of two venomous beaded lizard species found mostly in Mexico and southern Guatemala. The only lizards known to have evolved an overt venom delivery mechanism are it and another member of the same genus, the Gila Monster. The Mexican beaded lizard is bigger than the Gila Monster, and its coloring is duller with black stripes and yellowish bands. The principal purpose of its venom is still a matter of controversy among scientists because it is a specialized predator that feeds mainly on eggs. This venom has been discovered to contain numerous enzymes that can be used to make medicines for the treatment of diabetes, and research into the pharmacological applications of this venom is continuing. The beaded lizard is a specialist vertebrate nest predator that predominantly feeds on the eggs of birds and reptiles. When observed above the ground, this semi-arboreal species climbs deciduous trees in quest of food. It eats tiny birds, animals, frogs, lizards, and insects on occasion. The beaded lizard's venom glands are modified salivary glands found in the lower jaw. Each gland has its own duct that connects to the grooved teeth at the base. When the beaded lizard bites, it clings onto the victim and chews to get its poisonous saliva into the wound. Prodding captive lizards with a finger or bare foot has resulted in almost all reported human bites eight in the last century. Which of these reptiles would you run away from the fastest? Have you ever seen one of these crazy animals in real life? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!